Hi, this tutorial will show you how to enroll in Math Trios. You can use this video to assist you in enrolling in either Math 102, Math 141, or Math 103 Trio. These courses include a math lecture, lab, and either a Math 91B or 91S. Before we begin, I recommend you have something to write with or a Word document, as this could be very helpful when enrolling in these math classes. If you haven't already, make sure to log into your CSUN portal and follow the steps to get into the shopping cart. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Here in the shopping cart, we're gonna go ahead and on the left-hand side, click the button that says search. Where it says subject slash department, we're going to locate and select math mathematics. You always want to check off the box that says show up in classes only. And then afterwards, click quick search. Go ahead and scroll down and you're going to locate the lecture of the math that you were recommended to enroll in. For my example, I will be using Math 103. Once you've like located the math lecture of the course that you were recommended to enroll in, you wanna go ahead and click the green button next to the math class. It will expand and it will show you the days and times of when this class is being offered. Now as a rule of thumb, you always want to check on the consent column. If you see DEPT, like these two examples, then these courses require a special permission number to be added to the class. So unless your academic advisor gave you permission numbers, you want to make sure to avoid these sections that have department under the consent column. Often these sections are reserved for either students in the trios or in the duos. Since this particular video is showing examples with Math 103 trios and any other trios being offered, just make sure to always check the detail paper to see if the section you desire is reserved for the trios or for the duos. For example, let's say I want to go ahead and enroll in this particular section. I would go ahead and click the detail and scroll down to the notes area. In the last sentence, it does state this section is reserved for students required to take Math 103 Trio. If you see this on yours, then you can enroll in this particular section. If, however, you click in the detail page and it doesn't say that it's reserved for trios, like this, for example, and this particular example is actually reserved for duo students, which means that you cannot register for this class. So make sure to always look at the class notes as it will tell you if it's reserved for trios or not. This particular example is not reserved for trios. Now, once you find the class desired day and time, and you made sure to double check that the course is reserved for 
trios. Now you're ready to enroll. I'm going to go ahead and use this as my example. And once you've decided which course you want, you're going to go ahead and click the green plus sign. Afterwards, it'll take you to this page, providing you with the class information. You want to scroll to the bottom of the page and where it says notes, class notes. Here in this paragraph, it will give you the five digit class numbers for the Math 91B as well as the Math 103L. Or if you're using the example of Math 102, then it will tell you the Math 102L, which stands for lab, um, and then the Math 91B. Or if you're using this for Math 141, it will say Math 141L and Math 91S. Here it will say that the section is reserved for students required to take Math 103 Trio, and it says must also enroll in Math 91B, and it gives you a class number. And then it says or, and it gives you a second class number. They often do this because sometimes this particular section is closed, so they provide you with the second option just in case. They give you the day and time of the course, and then it will also state the lab and the class number for the lab, and they will give you a second class number for the lab. Same thing, they give you two numbers, two class numbers, just in case one of them is closed. So now this is where you wanna have your pen or paper or Word document handy you want to go ahead and write down these five digit class numbers. I went ahead and put them on a Word document. And I've listed them like this. Math 103, option one, this is the first class number. The lab for option number two, it's the second class number. Math 91B. This is the first class number that I saw. And then this is the second option for Math 91B. And then as my reference, I went ahead and also put the class number of the lecture. So once you have all the numbers down on your Word document or on a piece of paper, from here, you wanna go ahead and click Next. After clicking next, your math lecture will be added to your cart. Now you're not finished yet. You need to make sure to add the rest of your math classes. So the lab and either 91B or 91S. On the left-hand side, there is going to be a box where it says enter class number and the button enter. This is where you're going to go ahead and put one of the five digit class numbers that you copy down and paste it into here or type it in. I'm going to go ahead and copy the first option. Or you can type yours in. Click enter. It will be the lab and then click next. And you should have both the lecture and the lab in your cart. Now we're going to go ahead and paste in the Math 91B, or for some of you, it will be Math 91S. Go ahead and click enter. It will tell you the class. Click next. 
So you should have three math classes in your cart, the Math 91B or Math 91S, Math 103 or Math 102 or 141, this is your lecture, and the lab that goes with the lecture. So for mine, it's Math 103L. Before you click proceed to step two of three, you want to pay attention to under status. You want to make sure that all three math classes are open. If either the Math 91B or the Math 103L is closed, then you can go ahead and put in the second class number that they provided for you. So for example, my Math 91B is closed. So since it's closed, I'm not going to be able to enroll in it. So you want to go ahead and trash that class. And then you want to copy the second number you wrote down. And paste it in the box again. So now you can see that the Math 91B, the 103, and the 103L for my example, all of them have green circles, which means that they are all open. And now I'm ready to enroll. From here, you want to go ahead and click Proceed to Step 2 of 3. And then click Finish Enrolling. It takes a couple of seconds for it to go through. But if you were able to enroll in these classes, you will get a payment notification. So you just click OK. It's OK. Uh, it won't ask you to pay right now. It's just reminding you about the date. And then here, it will let you know if you were able to add the class. You should receive three check marks under status, like this. And then the message will say, this class has been added to your schedule. Now, if you were unable to enroll in the class, let's say you received three check marks over here, then it could be that the class is now closed. Oftentimes, there's other students enrolling at the same time as you, and it could be that in the process of you adding this class in the labs, that somebody else could have taken the class, which meant that it got closed. You want to make sure, again, that if either the lecture, the lab, or the 91B or 91S, if either of them are closed, then it won't work. So they all three have to be open. Another reason could be that you may be going over the 17 unit max. As freshmen, you can only enroll in 17 units. So you want to double check how many units you currently are enrolled in, plus how many total units this class is. If you are going over the 17 units, then it probably won't let you enroll and you would get a message saying you're going over the max units. In that case, you may want to consult with your advisor about dropping one of your classes so that you can add this math class. And then lastly, if you're getting an X or you're not able to enroll, it could be that you're adding the incorrect labs. Again, you want to double check the class notes to see if you have written down the correct labs. If after all of that, you still get X's and you were not able to enroll in, then you want to go ahead and reach out to your academic advisor. From here, you want to go ahead and click Add Another Class. If you again were able to enroll in this math class, then your cart will be empty. And if you scroll down, your class will be added down here to the fall semester class schedule or whatever semester you're enrolling in. I hope this video tutorial has been helpful. Thank you so much. Take care.